Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Big Mac here. And uh, just coming to you today to give you my thoughts on a, a recent purchase of mine, the MSI Apache Pro. So it's the MSI GE60-003. Um, uh, Apache Pro. And actually what you're going to be watching here in the background is um, some gameplay footage that they captured on this machine. So if you didn't know, Titanfall is you know, free this weekend for you to grab and uh, download and play for 48 hours. You choose when the 48 hours starts. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so here's some Titanfall gameplay. And uh, just so you know, uh, there's going to be a few games that you're going to see. And uh, all of them are either on high settings, like Titanfall, or um, Battlefield Hardline is on medium. Battlefield 4 is on a medium, a mixture of medium, low, ultra, and everything, but you'll see how good they look either way. And the latency as well. And then um, there's also Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That one's as on high as possible. I do have a video of just me playing um, Watch Dogs. I completely forgot to put it in here, or it might be in here. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a voiceover before I edit this out the footage. <clears throat> and there's also um, some Daisy, which is on a kind of weird resolution, but just because I didn't want to mess with it. And then there's also some uh, a secret game that you'll, you'll eventually see towards the end of the video. <clears throat> so, while all that goes on, I just wanted to go ahead and say um, that first and foremost, this machine is beautiful. It is uh, aesthetically uh, appealing. So, I don't think it's more than an, like an inch, an inch and a half thick. So, it's not your typical uber bulky gaming P uh, laptop. So, uh the 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 finish and the build quality overall are great so there's an aluminum brush finish which is you know really nice really sexy the only bad thing and the drawback to this whole finish is the fact that it is a fingerprint grease and etc magnet so it will literally be really dirty by the time you're done playing but as long as you clean it off every now and then or right after you are done using it or every now and then you'll be fine um still in aesthetics the keyboard so what I mean by aesthetics is the fact that it's a tri backlit keyboard which is pretty cool because you can do some pretty neat stuff with the software included to where you can make it <clears throat> react to sound you can also make it react to uh to well, the sound you can make it react to gameplay, so you can have it like change colors as you're shooting and stuff, or like strobe. Uh, it can also do like you know the standard wave and breathing and pulsing and all that kind of cool stuff. So you can always play with it. But it's tricolor, so there's three different sections that this thing lights up in, and of course you've probably seen the the pictures and everything. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, onto the keyboard itself. It is a really nice keyboard for being a laptop keyboard. Um, it is literally like you can you can feel, even though it's a membrane keyboard, you can feel like the click, like a mechanical keyboard somewhat. So amazing feel. Uh, I actually do have a, a gamepad, a Razer gamepad, like uh, you know the separate ones. <clears throat> At I don't know if it's just due to the fact that I'm not used to it, or due to the fact that I don't need it, that I don't use it for the most part, but I do use it from time to time, but the, the actual laptop itself is um, perfect. The keyboard. Um, on to the trackpad and soundbar. So the trackpad is atrocious, just downright bad. The trackpad is not sensitive worth a jack and it's actually really laggy from time to time uh, so if you do increase the sensitivity and whatnot I think you will get a better result I just haven't personally done that just yet uh, because I have an external mouse so I just use the mouse the whole time uh, just for context I do not use this 
laptop like willy nilly anywhere. I use it as a desktop replacement because I'm currently um, away from my home, and uh, I'm. It was. It would have been really expensive just to bring my desktop all the way over here for uh, the summer. So I went ahead and purchased this laptop as a desktop replacement, and it does wonders. So uh, on the note of it being a, a desktop replacement, there is an issue that people run into with this laptop, and it's heat. It's a heating issue. Uh, this issue I haven't personally come across. Uh, feeling it and being annoyed by it. Granted, I do run heat track, uh, temperature tracking software like real temp and fan speed and etc. And I do see the temperatures get up into the high 80s uh, when gaming and be in the 80s sometimes when just not gaming. Uh, so that is an issue, but it's not a critical issue in the sense that it will destroy your hardware right off the bat. It might reduce the longevity of your hardware. But that is a uh, that's something I haven't personally looked into. So uh, there there is a heating issue to the point to where this laptop does stay pretty hot and doesn't really uh, cool down. I have had this laptop uh, the fan, the heat fan, and the heat sink fan uh, rev up to well, just while downloading you know a movie or something or downloading a game. So there's definitely an issue there. I have seen some posts about this laptop where people go ahead and take it apart, remove the thermal paste, and reapply some more thermal paste, and that sometimes fixes their issue, but not entirely. It's more of the the construction of the laptop with the lack of, I guess, thermal paste. Um, but that's something I don't personally see because I did buy an extra little fan. An extra fan stand, which keeps the bottom of the laptop cool, which pushes, you know, instead of room temperature air, uh, cooler room temperature air, or at least with more pressure, uh, into the laptop to keep feeding it fresh air. Uh, so it does help out a little bit, and it's worth it for the 30 bucks for your $1,500 laptop, you know. Um, by the way, here's the my favorite game. <laughs> this is the secret game I was talking about. So it's Halo Combat Evolved. Just playing some multiplayer. Um, so yeah, so the onto the soundbar, the, the actual speakers are pretty good. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. I wouldn't say they're exceptional. They're they're not like crazy awesome, but they're not bad at all. They're actually really good. So, uh, like just last night, I literally played my music off while I slept and. Didn't hear, didn't hear any distortion in over four months now. Um, I do not put the speakers on the highest settings. Because you're never supposed to do that <laughs> with any speakers. You're never supposed to crank everything up to 100%. Uh, so that's what I do to make sure that I don't distort the, <clears throat> the sound quality. Excuse me for that, sorry. Um, onto the screen. The screen is beautiful. It's amazing. Um, you can literally view this screen from any angle, like no questions asked, and it's actually very vibrant in color and like it just pops like crazy. Um, now onto the actual, I, I would I guess I would have to say um, the actual performance of the laptop. So inside this laptop, you have an i7 4700Q quad core 2.2 gigahertz processor turbo boosted to 3.4 so you're talking about a you know really powerful processor here and on top of that you match this powerful processor with a powerful graphics card in 860m the 860m is the, the new line of mobile chips the 800 series and that graphics card actually uh, competitively matches up with the the desktop GPU of a 750. So if you don't know what a 750 typically is in the price range for, it's for the mid-tier um, price range. So for the average gamer that doesn't need ultra but would like uh, high graphics, this is the GPU for you. And um, you could dish out a few extra bucks and get an 8 ADM, which is a recommendation if you do have the money. 
But if you don't have those extra few hundred dollars, I would recommend you go with uh, a laptop with an 860M. <clears throat> uh, and you, you've been seeing this whole time. All these games that you've been watching this whole time have been recorded with this laptop. Um, no fancy trickery or anything. It's just all been recorded with this laptop. So, all in all, um, this laptop is a great laptop. Um, I don't know really what else to say on the performance besides the fact that, you know, seeing is believing in these games that I've had in the background were my example of the, the performance that you can get out of this laptop. Now, I do have my laptop set up as a desktop replacement, so I literally have all the USB ports taken up. I have a USB port a hub for my mouse for my 360 controller, for my flight simulator controller, for my keypad, for my charger, and then I have two external hard drives, uh, both USB 3, one's a terabyte and a half at 5400 RPM, and the other one's a terabyte at 7200 RPM. The terabyte is actually from the internal storage, which I replaced with uh, uh, Samsung Evo. <clears throat> 256 gig hard drive I mean SSD so uh, that is a recommendation uh, just in general always a recommendation to upgrade to an SSD because SSDs are awesome so that's always a straight up recommendation for anything especially if you want to game and have like quick load times and stuff like in Battlefield it actually makes a difference like you actually load into the map before everyone else so you can actually tell who has a SSD and who doesn't or when you're playing with your buddies, you'll be able to tell. So, um, just to wrap it up, this laptop overall is great. Um, I know that I didn't talk about the performance as much, just because you can look up the performance anywhere, but I wanted to talk about the laptop in general. Uh, it's a great build quality, um, awesome keyboard, trackpad sucks, awesome sound, and, um, amazing screen. Uh, I would like a few extra USB ports and uh, it would be nice to have the actual heat exhaust in the rear versus the left side so it's on the left side so you, you do feel the heat from time to time when, um, when you're just playing but it's not that bad. It's something I've come to live with really quick and it wasn't an, is an issue to begin with so overall great laptop um, if you can find a laptop with similar build quality with an i7 um, quad core at 3.4 turbo boosted and an 860m with 8 gigs of ram and whatever hard drive you have in there and then of course replace it with a with an ssd later or you can maybe get one with an ssd right off the bat uh, for less of this laptop then by all means but for the range that I looked at um, this was the best pick for me and I do enjoy it and you know sometimes when it comes to gaming a lot of gaming laptops it's A about the performance but B about the aesthetics because this thing is pretty beautiful too <laughs> so um, the performance is amazing and the aesthetics are amazing so if you're planning on buying this laptop go ahead and do it uh, if you have any questions uh, about the performance whatsoever or any specific features uh, I can go ahead and I can go ahead and look that up for you or I can tell you my personal experience for you in the sense of uh, if I've ran into it and if not I can maybe try to run into it and then tell you my feedback so just leave a comment below and uh, I'll go ahead and get back to you more than likely the same day because I check my email regularly. So, all in all, this video is going on to 15 minutes and I actually only have like 12 minutes of footage. <laughs> so I'll go and find some more some more footage somewhere. Maybe that Watch Dogs is playing right now. I just don't know. <laughs> so go ahead and have a good one, guys. Uh, this is Big Mac, signing out. Later.